What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm Warren Thompson and today we have some really big DC news. Not only are we going to be talking about the upcoming slate, including when that is going to actually be revealed by James Gunn and Peter Safran, but it is now confirmed that the DCU, the DC Universe, is now going to be completely rebooted. They are resetting the DCU. They are not soft rebooting it, but completely rebooting it. And this is coming from Dave Bautista, who said he spoke with James Gunn, and that is what James Gunn told him. It's actually very interesting how he got into this conversation with James Gunn. He spoke to him about possibly playing Bane. Now, of course, many people know that Dave Bautista and James Gunn have worked a lot with each other. Of course, Dave Bautista plays Drax in Guardians of the Galaxy, in which, of course, the franchise is written by and directed by James Gunn. And what's really interesting is that James Gunn recently said on Twitter that he will probably work with this cast again at DC. In fact, he said he knows he's going to work with them again, and then he said probably at his new gig, which of course is him running DC Studios. Luckily for us, Dave Bautista has revealed the conversation that he had with James Gunn about playing Bane, or I should say not playing Bane, and about the reboot of the DCU. Dave Bautista said, I have had conversations with James about that, but I think the direction he's leaning in, completely rebooting that whole universe, He's starting from scratch and starting younger and fresher, and I think you need to do that. This was with an interview with Insider that Dave Bautista was doing for his movie, Knock at the Cabin. And he continued to say, I think for the DC universe to be revived, you need to start from scratch. I think you need to start with younger actors. You need to start to plan for the next 15 years, and I just don't think you can do that with me. And I understand that. And also, I have to say that I appreciate that because I don't want to play a character that I can't bring justice to. I don't think at this point in my career that I can bring justice to Bane anymore. I just don't know if I could handle the physical part, and I don't think I would have the longevity to plan ahead for films. So I just don't know if I'd be that guy. And the title for this article from Insider is Dave Bautista says he's talked to James Gunn about playing Bane and it's not happening. He's starting from scratch. And right away, go ahead and let us know what you think about this in the comments down below. We'd love to hear what you think, but I personally think that this is truly the way to go. At this point in time, DC has been very confusing. If you've been a fan of the DC franchise, you definitely know this. The DCEU really lacked connectivity and continuity. Plus, you have things like the Snyder Cut, and then you have a whole entire another universe with the Joker and then the Batman universe. And it's very convoluted, and it makes it really hard to see what DC's overall plan is. So it's great that James Gunn and Peter Safran are coming in with a plan to reboot the entire thing. Yes, some of these actors will be missed, for sure. And it is a kick in the shin since we just got Henry Cavill back as Superman in Black Adam. That was going to be awesome, but James Gunn has met with Henry Cavill already and has told him that they are going a different direction, which is what Dave Bautista is saying. They are rebooting and casting younger actors to play the roles. And it's just like Dave Bautista said, they need actors that can last the next 15 years. Think about the start of the MCU with Iron Man, how he lasted all the way to Avengers Endgame. And think about Thor, he is still currently in the Marvel Cinematic Universe right now. He's lasted over 10 years. This is something that the DCU needs. We need actors who are going to be around for a very long time so we can have that continuity and that connectivity. So I think this is an incredibly good idea. However, However, I do want to address the fact that some actors like Jason Momoa and Zachary Levi said that they aren't really going anywhere. Jason Momoa was recently talking about Aquaman 3, and he basically told us that he is playing Lobo in the new DCU. So that was really confusing. Fans thought, well, is he going to play Aquaman and Lobo? Then Zachary Levi was tweeting at people, stating to not really worry about his future with the DC Universe, and that he's really not going anywhere. But I think these actors are kind of being intentionally misleading. And not really for a bad reason, but let me explain. If you have a movie coming up that is set in a universe that is about to expire, like Shazam 2 and Aquaman 2, the hype for it might kind of get diminished a little bit. In fact, I've already seen tons of tweets about this, with people stating, well, if the universe is about to get reset and these actors aren't going to play these characters anymore, why even go see the movie? Now, I get people saying that, but I don't share that mentality. I think both movies are going to be very enjoyable, and I'm going to go see both. 
And I do think that Zachary Levi is going to be done as Shazam and Jason Momoa is going to be done as Aquaman. I think it's pretty clear that James Gunn and Peter Safran are doing a complete reboot, especially after what Dave Bautista said. But if you're about to promote a movie, you're not really going to say that. You're not going to promote it by saying, hey, go see this because it's my last film as Shazam and my last film as Aquaman. That's just not what you're going to say. You're going to say, hey, don't worry about it. Go watch the movie. It's going to be a great movie. So I think that's what the actors are going to do. I think they're both done with Aquaman and Shazam, which is sad because I think both did an excellent job portraying their characters. But I think both movies will be good. And like I said, Jason Momoa will most likely be Lobo in the DC Universe moving forward. Now, as far as when to expect some reveal of the DCU slate, James Gunn did tell us that he would be revealing the slate, or at least a part of it, this month. For those of you who may not know, James Gunn told us that he's got basically 8 to 10 years of the new DC Universe planned out. However, he did say that he's not going to reveal all of it in his announcement that he is going to make this month. Now, we only have two days left in this month, really only one. Today is January 30th and tomorrow is the 31st, and rumor has it that tomorrow he will reveal the first part of the DCU slate, which I believe he is going to call chapters. There's an image going around of him responding to an Instagram comment of him saying the word chapters, much like Marvel Studios uses phases. James could simply be referring to phases as chapters to make it different from the MCU. However, I don't think anyone can confirm if he actually made this comment or if it's photoshopped. So take that with a grain of salt. But regardless, James Gunn has said, and you can find this on his Twitter, that he would reveal part of the DC slate this month. So today or tomorrow, and James Gunn is a person who is very active on Twitter. And he's also a man of his word. Now, of course, things happen. And there could have been some things that have popped up that could have gotten in the way of him revealing the DC slate this month. However, like I said, since he's so active on Twitter, he would come out and announce this. He would tell us. He would probably come out and say, sorry, it's not going to be this month, but it'll be soon. And since we're a day away and he hasn't said that yet, I'm going to go ahead and guess that we probably are still on track. And if the DC slate reveal really is tomorrow, I gotta say that's pretty funny him making us wait the entire month and revealing it on the very last day. I can see him coming out laughing and smiling saying, hey, I told you it would be this month, didn't I? I think that would be absolutely hilarious. And hey, only one day left until we find out that we're not going to get it this month or we will get it and we'll know the first couple of years probably of the new DCU. So of course, if something happens, we'll do a video on it. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest DC videos. And let us know in the comments down below what you're looking forward to the most and which characters you would like to see arrive first in the new DCU. Don't forget to like the video and for live updates, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.